morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Maina Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is the feast of St. Thomas Aquinas, friar, priest, and doctor of the church. St. Thomas, a member of the noble family of Aquino, was born in the castle of Rocas Sica in 1225 and sp spent his early years at the Abbey of Monte Cassino. Against his family's wishes, he entered the order of preachers at Naples and was sent to Cologne to complete his studies under the direction of St. Albert the Great. He devoted all his energy to the service of truth, eagerly searching it out, loving, lovingly contemplating it and imparting it to others through his writing, his teaching and his preaching. His life was marked by devotion to the Passion of the Lord, to the mystery of the Eucharist, and to the Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Because of his fidelity to regular life, his love of truth, and his piety, the Order recognizes him as a model for his own pursuit of truth. He died at Fosanova on March 7, 1274, while on his way to the Council of Lyons. He was declared patron of all the universities and Catholic schools by Pope Leo XIII. His date, this date recalls the translation of his remains to Toulouse. We will now have the morning prayer of the church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Lord, open my lips. And my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, source of all wisdom. Come, let, Come, us, let us worship, worship the, the Lord, Lord, source of, of all, all wisdom. wisdom. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rogue who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lord, Lord source, source of all wisdom. wisdom. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship the Lord, souls of all wisdom. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people the flock he shepherds. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lord, Lord souls of all wisdom. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of, all of my works. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lord, Lord souls of all wisdom. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lord, Lord source, source of all wisdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, Come let, let us, us worship, worship the Lord, Lord source, source of all wisdom. Rise men of God, and that we bless her things. Give heart and soul and mind and strength to serve the King of kings. Rise up, O men of God, give 
His kingdom there is long. Bring in the day of brotherhood and end the night of war. Please be seated. I will give him drink from the font of living water. I will be his God, and he will be my son. O God, you are my God, for you I long. For you my soul is thirsting. My body pines for you, like a dry weary land without water. So I gaze on you in the sanctuary to see your strength and your glory. For your love is better than life. My lips will speak your praise. So I will bless you all my life. In your name I will lift up my hands. My soul shall be filled as with a banquet. My mouth shall praise you with joy. On my bed I remember you. On you I muse through the night. For you have been my help. In the shadow of your wings I rejoice. My soul clings to you. Your right hand holds me fast. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Church rejoices in His work. His memory will be blessed forever. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Angels of the Lord, bless the Lord. You heavens, bless the Lord. All you waters above the heavens, bless the Lord. All you hosts of the Lord, bless the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Stars of heaven, bless the Lord. Every shower and dew, bless the Lord. All you winds, bless the Lord. Fire and heat, bless the Lord. Cold and chill, bless the Lord. Dew and rain, bless the Lord. Frost and chill, bless the Lord. Ice and snow, bless the Lord. Nights and days, bless the Lord. Light and darkness, bless the Lord. Lightnings and clouds, bless the Lord. Let the earth bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Mountains and hills, bless the Lord. Everything growing from the earth, bless the Lord. You springs, bless the Lord. Seas and rivers, bless the Lord. You dolphins and all water creatures, bless the Lord. All you birds of the air, bless the Lord. All you beasts, wild and tame, bless the Lord. You sons of men, bless the Lord. O Israel, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Priests of the Lord, bless the Lord. Servants of the Lord, bless the Lord. Spirits and souls of the just, bless the Lord. Holy men of humble hearts, bless the Lord. Hananiah, Azariah, Mishael, bless the Lord. Praise and exalt Him above all forever. Let us bless the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us praise and exalt Him above all forever. Blessed are you, Lord, in the firmament of heaven, praiseworthy and glorious and exalted above all forever. From daybreak He kept vigil with His Creator. He prayed in the presence of the Most High. Sing a new song to the Lord, His praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel rejoice in its Maker, let Zion's sons exult in their king. Let them praise his name with dancing and make music with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes delight in his people. He crowns the poor with salvation. Let the faithful rejoice in their glory. Shout for joy and take their rest. Let the praise of God be on their lips and a two-edged sword in their hand. To deal out vengeance to the nations, and punishment on all the peoples, to bind their kings in chains, and their nobles in fetters of iron, to carry out the sentence preordained. This honor is for all his faithful. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We pray. 
praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the most high Jesus Christ, in the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, you made Saint Thomas known for his zeal for holiness and his dedication to sacred doctrine. Help us to grow in wisdom by his teaching and in holiness by imitating his faith. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. I prayed and prudence was given me. I pleaded and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold, in view of her, is a little sand, and before her, silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness, I loved her, and I choose to her, and I choose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to step. Now God grant I speak suitably and value these endowments and their worth, for he is the guide of wisdom and the director of the wise. For both we and our words are in his hands, as well as all prudence and knowledge of crafts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just man murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man murmurs wisdom. Trust in the Lord and do good, that you may dwell in the land and enjoy security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's request. The mouth of the just man murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way, trust in him, and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light, Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just man murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in heart, and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just man murmurs wisdom. Please stand. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Your word, O Lord, is truth. 
make us holy in the truth The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I give you my assurance. Whatever you ask the Father, he will give you in my name. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Ask and you shall receive, that your joy may be full. I have spoken these things to you in pale language. A time will come when I shall no longer do so, but shall tell you about the Father in plain speech. On that day, you will ask in my name, and I do not say that I will petition the Father for you. The Father already loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I did indeed come from the Father. I came into the world. Now I am leaving the world to go to the Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po sa kanyang lahat. Today, we are celebrating a great feast of a great saint known for a great virtue. Pangalan po niya is Santo Tomas de Aquino, isang Dominican saint. Known especially for his respect of the body. <clears throat> he became a saint because he struggled to defend the holiness of the body, which is a lesson for us, whether you are single or married. You have to respect the body. The body is not an instrument it is the temple of the Holy Spirit. It is so easy to appear holy. Madali magkunyari. So easy to appear a good person. But it is difficult to be a really good person. And it's difficult to be holy. Why is it difficult to be holy. One, basically because it is the grace of God. It is not achieved by a personal effort. It is God there working in us, with us, for us. We only cooperate with the grace of God, which is also important. Unless we cooperate with the grace of God, nothing takes place. We said, so difficult to appear, to appear really good. Why? Because we are pulled from behind by our past. Ang ating nakaraan. We are pulled in front of us by our desires, by our ambitions. Then because we are pulled from behind and from in front, we forget the present. Ano ang ating gagawin ngayon? The importance of the present. So what is sin? Sin is a personal attempt to be strong, 
and powerful without God, excluding God. And we call this pretentiousness. Nagkukunyari. A person who experiences, who strives to be fake, pretentious, he begins to suffer forgetfulness and indifference. And what happens? Or because of sin in us, we begin to lose our balance in our lives. We begin to experience contradictions and conflicts in our relationships with others. Kailangan we go through the seven capital sins. Sometimes we experience those sins, we commit those sins, and we don't feel the guilt anymore because they have become part and parcel of our lives. Ang kasalanan pagka naging araw-araw na ginagawa, hindi na natin nakikita ang masama. Halimbawa, the sin of the tongue, sins of the tongue, which we commit every day, sometimes more often than 24 hours. Sins of the tongue. Buti na lang nagko-cover tayo ng against the germs. Yung taklob dyan. Yung pang, pang barang. But we know that sin comes from the innermost part of our life, of our lives, our, our intellect, and our heart. We all stand for the prayers of the faithful. Magsitayo po tayo. Let us pray to the Almighty Father and confidently ask Him to listen to the prayers of His people through the intercession of St. Thomas Aquinas. We respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, may the Lord confirm all believers, purify them, and let them grow in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all nations, May the Lord bestow upon the gifts of peace and prosperity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For those who suffer, may the Lord comfort them in their hour of need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the Dominican Order, may its members remain faithful to the charism of preaching and teaching. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Let us now pray for our own personal dead who have gone ahead of us, and we be reminded that we are following them, and soon our personal end will come. Father, bestow on your people the health of mind and body so that we could love you with all our hearts and all our strength and faithfully comply with your will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Bless you, Lord God of all creation, your goodness. We have this bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, your goodness, we have this wine to offer. Through the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us, be pleased with sacrifice, Please we offer you with humble, contrite hearts. Please stand. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Loving God, accept these gifts which we offer you on the feast of our brother Thomas. Make us an acceptable gift to you, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to Let's the Lord. give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. On this feast of our brother Thomas, we praise and bless you. He devoted himself to a life of prayer and study, and you clothe him with the clear light of divine wisdom. Shadows of confusion were swept away by his teaching, brilliant in life and in words. Thomas alone shone like the sun illuminating the church. We praise you, Lord, with all the angels and saints in their song of joy. Holy. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts to pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion, took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> Similar way when supper was ended, took the chalice once more giving thanks, gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood. The blood of the new and eternal covenant will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer your Lord the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks of hell that's worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, the Archbishop, Fidelis, the Auxiliary, and all the clergy. Remember now also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. All have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, blessed Apostles, Saint Dominic and all the saints of bless you throughout the ages. May Mary to be coerced to eternal life. May praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory and honor is yours forever and ever. The Savior's command form a divine teaching we dare to say. Magsitayo pa tayong lahat. By the help of your mercy, we will be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Please stand. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. Let us now say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God for the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you enter the world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died after the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and this we thank you and praise you. O oh Lord, thanks to thee. Mary, help of Christians, pray, pray for, for us. St. Michael the Archangel, pray, pray for, for us. St. Roque, pray, for, pray us. for us. Out of love for God, Thomas studied, prayed, and labored. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath this word to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Out, Out of, of love, love for God, God Thomas, Thomas studied, studied, prayed, and, and labored. labored. Blessed, Blessed be, be the Lord. O God, you strengthen us with Christ the living bread, enlighten us by his teaching. Help us to live the truth as our brother Thomas did. And live it in our your love, we ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Solemn blessing. God gave blessed Thomas the grace to search our divine mysteries. May the Lord bless you and help you to love those same truths. Amen. Amen. God gave Thomas the grace to praise the mystery of the body and blood of Christ. May the Lord continue to nourish you by the same body and blood. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, accept the gifts which we offer you in the feast of our brother Thomas. Make us an acceptable gift to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now pray for the blessing of the sick. The blessing of the rosaries will be done at the back. God Almighty Father, by blessing you, give us strength, support, and our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from illness, restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of Rosary Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, we will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.